one thing everyone says we need government for is to come to our aid during a disaster, like a hurricane. Hurricane Katrina slamming into the Gulf Coast. It's three years now since Katrina ravaged New Orleans. After the storm, government promised to help rebuild. Read my lips. We will rebuild New Orleans. And you taxpayers will pay for it. The Senate agreeing to provide $10.5 billion. Another $51.8 billion. But despite the politicians' promises and the billions of dollars spent, today, a big part of New Orleans still looks like this. It's as if Katrina happened a month ago. Here in the Ninth Ward, block after block is a disaster. Why hasn't the area been rebuilt? Partly because you want to rebuild, you have to get a permit. We was not able to get a permit not to rebuild, but just to repair. Reverend Lewis Adams wanted to repair his church. Dolores Davis tried to rebuild her home. It's, you know, been one thing after another. She applied to a state program that promises to help people rebuild. They have hundreds of people working for them. But even with all those people working, two years later, she still waits. You have one work up this day, and next week you talk to another work, you have to explain the same thing over and over. New Orleans mayor, Ray Nagin, has an excuse for why more hasn't been rebuilt. You have to go through 10 different approval processes before you can get something actually built. Governments are not built for speed, period. Why aren't governments built for speed? Sometimes you need speed. Everyone wants to make sure there's checks and balances. Those checks and balances are why much of New Orleans still looks like this. Yet less than a mile away is this neighborhood, filled with nice-looking homes. How could this be built? Well, here, government wasn't involved. Habitat for Humanity built these homes. When they say they're going to come in for a build, they build the houses. I mean, they're for real. Harry Connick Jr. might have said we. He helped build these homes. It was spontaneous order. He and others just decided that building homes was the right thing to do the way the skaters decide which way they'll turn. Toured out through the back. Malik Rahim's charity built this home and others like it. Everything that we have done, we have, we've been able to accomplish this in spite of the government. Rahim gave up on government. He says getting those billions of your dollars set aside for rebuilding is nearly impossible. He gets money from passers-by. And this is where you get the money with this sign that says, get out of the car, lend us a hand? That's right and people do get out to help. In fact, we can get families and homes by next summer. We can, we can move this quickly, it's ready to go. Celebrities pitched in. Brad Pitt have done more for this community than anyone. Brad Pitt's doing more than the government? <laughs> I would say 10 times more than the government. We'll start one building at a time. With no need to wait for government money, homes started going up. All these volunteers, they did what the government didn't do. That's right, that's right. Other celebrities pitched in. Michael Moore, if you're watching this, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Bruce Springsteen, Bonnie Ray, every house that you see that done been rebuilt, been rebuilt because of volunteers. Not because of the government, volunteers. And the bureaucrats were an obstacle to this? Oh, well, they had about uh, nine different uh, agencies that you had to go through. The average person didn't know what to do. <laughs> To build this, Habitat for Humanity employed specialists who know how to fight through bureaucracy. They build 70 homes quickly. Yeah. Well, you bureaucrats fiddle. Well, I don't know if we fiddled, but we're seeing private sector does it better. Why? Because there's not a lot of rules and regulations. Wouldn't it be better if you guys in government just got out of the way? Well, I don't think government can totally get out of the way. We can make it easier. And Nagin claims he has made it easier for people. We issued thousands and thousands of permits right after Katrina. So we tried to get out of the way, and I think it paid off for us. We have everything online, so you can go online, you can visit a kiosk. Oh, good. Oh, kiosks. So after meeting with the mayor, I went to City Hall to try the kiosks. The first one I tried didn't work. Maybe this one. None of the kiosks worked. No. How can I help you? But there was a helpful clerk. I'd like to know what it takes to, to build a house. If you're doing new construction, you need two sets of architectural plans. With a live seal, 
from Louisiana Registered Architect and Engineer. You a live seal? But the help she gave. You'd also need a plot plan to make sure it meets its only requirements. It was terrifying. A construction benchmark which is a FEMA requirement. This is the requirement sheet. And this is a form that FEMA has. This is our fee schedule, which explains the building permit fee and the plan review fee. It took more than 10 minutes for her just to explain the permit. We would start off by looking up your damage assessment. If you want to dispute the damage assessment, this is FEMA's form. If I want to rebuild, I have to get a plot plan, an architectural plan, a benchmark certificate, two sets of complete plans completely detailing the work, a vocary approval, HDLC approval, yeah. state certification. Yeah, absolutely. Keep in mind, if you're doing any work in a historic district, you have to jump through some hoops. He's not trying to make it complicated. Each of those hoops was meant to protect the public from some problem that occurred years ago. That's what governments do, but it creates horrific bureaucracy. Nagan insisted I interview him in this half-finished theater because he wanted to show off what his city's building. But if more than 400 projects the mayor promotes as his recovery in progress, only 42 are complete. In the Ninth Ward, where homes are complete, it was because of spontaneous order, and it's that that's bringing New Orleans back to life. That's what made America great. The government ain't made America great, it's people made America great. When 2020 returns, Stossel lays it all out. How far will it go? The endless paper trail to run for political office. I quit. Next. <laughs>